One thing that I keep running into with my business, and maybe you've had this happen as well, is that clients were happy with the work, but the process of working with us felt more complicated than it should have been. A contract in one mail, an invoice in another, a folder link somewhere else, a booking link buried under all of it, and then this long message explaining how everything fits together. And every new project felt like setting up the same system from scratch. Clients were confused because they didn't understand what to do. They were confused because we made them jump between too many places just to get started. And that made the business feel less organized than the actual results we were delivering. So I needed a solution, a simple professional place where clients could log in, see exactly what they need and move through the process without me having to explain every step. Which brings us to today's video about client portals and exactly what they do. It's a clean private website built for your clients where everything related to their project lives in one organized space. There's no lost emails, no searching for links, no where do I find this messages? And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to build a portal that actually works, what tools you need, how to set it up, and how to make it feel like part of your brand without writing any code. And if at any point you wanna try it out or follow along, there's a 14 day free trial linked in the description to help you get started. But first, we're gonna break down what a client portal actually is. Client portal is a secure website where your clients go to handle everything related to the project. They log in and the entire process is laid out clearly. What needs to be signed, what needs to be paid, what files to upload, what updates to check. Nothing is buried, nothing is scattered. Nothing depends on them remembering which email had what link. And here's the important part. You don't have to replace your tools. If you do use Google Drive, Notion, ClickUp, Calendly, keep using them. The portal simply brings all of it into one experience. So your clients see a single organized system instead of a mix of different platforms. The result is that your business looks more put together, your clients feel more supported, and you spend far less time chasing basic steps. Now, let's actually talk about how to build it. You don't need to create anything from scratch. I used assembly because it lets me build a polished portal quickly and match it to my brand. When you open up the dashboard, the first step is setting up your branding, your logo, your accent colors, background image, the simple things, but they make the portal feel like it belongs to your business, not actually to a third party tool. From there, Assembly gives you two views, the admin view for managing everything and the client view, which is exactly what your clients will see. That separation gives you complete control over what appears, how things are organized, and what each client can access. Inside of the portal, everything runs on apps. Messaging is an app, files is an app, billing is an app, contracts, forms, tasks, everything works the same way. You turn on only what you need. You rename things, reorder them, and adjust the layout to match your process. It's very simple and it stays flexible. All right, now let's walk through the core apps, starting with messaging. Email is fine until you're juggling multiple clients and every conversation blends together. Threads get lost, people reply in the wrong place. You resend the same information multiple times. Messaging inside the portal solves all of that. Assembly gives each client their own private message thread, one clean space where all communication lives, nothing gets buried, and you never have to wonder if they saw something. There's also a broadcast option. If you need to update several clients at once, like a schedule change or a reminder, you write one message, choose who should receive it, and send. It still shows up as a personal message on their end without you repeating yourself. You can also set a default welcome message so new clients always know what to do next. Most importantly, Everything stays inside the portal. Clients always know where to look and you're not managing conversations across five different channels. All right, let's go over files and contracts. Now, one of the most frustrating parts of client work is resending the same files because someone misplaced them or couldn't find the email. With the portal, you upload the files once, you organize them clearly and that's it. Client logs in and everything is waiting for them. You can create folders, upload deliverables, or link your existing documents from Google Drive or Notion. As long as your structure makes sense, clients won't need to ask where anything is. Now, contracts work the same way. You upload your standard agreement once, add fields for names and signatures, and save it as a reusable template. Then, when you need to send a contract, assembly fills in the details automatically, tracks when it's viewed and stores a signed copy for you. It's clean and very efficient. Billing can be one of the biggest time wasters in a service business. Creating invoices, checking if they were open, sending reminders, waiting for payment. It interrupts your workflow all of the time. So in the portal, billing becomes very straightforward. You add your services, you set the pricing, 
Decide whether each one is one-time or recurring, and you're ready to go. You can send invoices directly or place your services in a store where clients can check out on their own. Payments run through Stripe so clients can pay by card or ACH. Recurring services are where things become much easier. You set the schedule once, monthly, quarterly, whatever fits, and Assembly handles the rest. Payments process on time, work starts on time, and you're not chasing anything. Now, once I moved billing into the portal, I barely had to think about it again. And once again, this doesn't have to replace your existing tools. Assembly doesn't expect you to rebuild the way you work. Instead, it just connects everything. So I embedded my booking link from Calendly, added my Notion dashboard, linked shared Google Drive folders, even connected a ClickUp board. All of it appears inside the portal, fully branded and easy for clients to access. Now, from their perspective, it feels like one coordinated system. From yours, you keep your workflow exactly the way you like it. All right, let's go over pricing and who each plan fits best. So if you're solo and you just want a professional streamlined way to communicate with clients, the starter plan is around 40 bucks a month. You get contracts, billing, messaging, and a clean branded portal. Everything you need to stop sending five different links. If you have a team or handle multiple clients at once, the professional plan at around 150 a month is usually the best fit. You do get a custom domain, more automation, and better structure for higher volume. And if your work involves sensitive information, deeper permissions, or more complex workflows, the advanced plan at about 400 bucks a month, well, it's designed for that. Every plan comes with a free trial so you can build a workflow, test it with a real client, and see if it actually fits your process. Now, if you want to explore assembly a bit more, just check the current pricing for yourself. You can use the link in the description. Just to be clear, using that link won't cost you anything extra, but we might earn a small commission that directly helps support the channel. So. Who is this actually for? Basically, Assembly is built for service businesses that follow a repeatable process. If your work involves onboarding, sending documents, collecting payments, and keeping clients updated, this will simplify everything. Now, on the flip side, if every project you take on is completely unique with no consistent steps, a portal may feel unnecessary at first. But the moment you notice your workflow repeating, even just a little, Assembly removes a lot of the repetitive tasks. It brings consistency keeps things organized and it helps you deliver a more professional workflow and experience without adding more work to your plate. So listen, running a service business shouldn't mean spending half your time managing the process instead of doing the actual work. And it shouldn't require answering the same basic questions over and over because clients don't know where anything is for your sake and for theirs. The client portal brings order to all of that and it makes your business look polished, it keeps clients on track and it moves everything out of your inbox and into a very clean structured system. We actually reviewed the five best client portal apps in another video, which I'll link in the description below if you wanna go check that out. But honestly, Assembly is the best option out there. It gives you the structure you need, the flexibility you want and a clear space where clients always know what to do next. So that wraps up today's video and I hope you found this helpful. And if you did, please like and subscribe to see more content like this. If you guys have any questions, feel free to drop them down below and I'll do my best to answer all of them. Also, if you do want to work with us or sponsor a future video, our email is in the description as well. Feel free to send us an email. And finally, guys, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.